Good afternoon. This is Oliver W. Long story with the Abolition News Network, April 20th, 1873, continuing our series on what happened after slavery. We have in our studio today a member of a unique faction known as the Ku Klux Klan to speak with us about why the group got started and its purposes and activities. How do you do, Mr. Oh, I forgot. You fellows like to remain anonymous. Okay, I'll just call you Mr. Klan. Glad to be on your show, Mr. Longstory. It gives me great pleasure to speak up for the Klan. All right, well, let's get right down to your purpose. Um, can I hang your cross on the coat hanger over there? Oh, no, ma'am. I'm used to having a cross to bear. Okay, well, now that we've established that, what is your purpose? I'd say our main purpose is political in a broad sense. The KKK aims to reverse the changes that took place in the South during the Reconstruction period and defy the Republican Party and the new governments and to regain control of the black labor force and continue racial subordination in Southern life as it was before. That sums it up. Why? I should be appointed top dragon for being able to express that one. Why do you need a disguise? Well, that should be obvious. The long white robes will convince the superstitious blacks that we are the ghost of Confederate soldiers killed in action during the Civil War. I hope they take that seriously. So what does this mean exactly, a political comeback? It means that we are undercover to intimidate the Negroes and escape from being identified by wearing the long white distinctive robes. Why, even our horses are robed. <clears throat> Thank you, ma'am. Uh, uh. I wonder, do you also eat through those sheets? Volumes 1 through 10 on the road to the abolition of slavery. Volumes 1 and 2 Introduction on the road to the abolition of slavery. Slavery explained in the words, writing, and songs of contemporary politicians, abolitionists, slaves, pro slavery advocates, and others. Volume 3, Politics, On the Road to the Abolition of Slavery. The Institution of Slavery and How It Was Written into the U.S. Constitution. Volume 4, Heroes and Heroines, On the Road to the Abolition of Slavery. Liberated from the shackles of slavery, countless slaves made extraordinary contributions to society. Volume 5, Obstacles on the Road to the Abolition of Slavery. Slavery culturally entrenched and protected by religious, political, and social obstacles. Volume 6, Martyrs on the Road to the Abolition of Slavery. People black and white gave their lives in the fight for freedom from slavery. Volume 7, Kidnappers and Justice on the Road to the Abolition of Slavery. The law protected slavery, and the scales of justice were in favor of the slave owners. Harriet Beecher Stowe, The Evil of Slavery. Stowe reveals the people and the conditions that inspired her explosive novel about slavery and life in the South. Volume 8, The Legacy of What Slavery Left Behind. War-ravaged people struggle to rebuild their society and come to terms with the repercussion of slavery after the Civil War. Mm -hmm. 
Volume 9, Those Dedicated Angels on the Road to the Abolition of Slavery. Recognizing the work of 12 abolitionists whose extraordinary dedication helped to free the enslaved, these are the people who fought for a higher standard of mankind. Volume 10, Coming Soon, Summer 2013, The Beginning of Slavery, Indentured Servants and the Transatlantic Slave Trade. Colonial plantations needed labor, more orphans, loose women, convicts, and Quakers than the old world could send as indentured servants. So the colonists looked to Africa, and the transatlantic slave trade thrived for 450 years.